Hey everyone, it's Drogon here. Yes, I'm playing Minecraft. I recently started playing Minecraft on a whitelisted server called The Wooden Spoon. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to check it out. But anyway, this is my villager prison island slash trading hall. <laughs> so, this is where I keep all my villagers. And these guys are already set up to give me the trades that I want. You can see my friendly zombie down there. Sweet Jimmy. This over here is the, the villager breeder. So basically in here I've got some villagers. They're all farmers. They farm the carrots. They need the, the composters there. They need access to the composters to become farmers. And basically what they do is they collect all the the carrots, then they throw the carrots at each other and they make babies. And when uh, the babies start running about, what they'll do is they'll run down them the holes that you've seen. And then they, only they can fit down them holes, the adults can't fit down them holes. And they'll fall down here and it'll be a wee pool of water. The pool of water pushes them against the glass down there. And then you can take them up here via minecart and give them their job. But anyway, this isn't a tutorial video, <laughs> as you may have thought, but it is be changing this so that it doesn't look like crap. Because right now, it looks bad. It doesn't look good. If you check it in here, I mean, this does not look pretty. I spent quite a lot of time making this building and I don't want it looking like that. I think I would prefer having the garden outside. So that's my plan. I'm going to move the garden outside and then we'll see how it looks from there. So this is how the garden looks out here and I actually really like it. This is where the water is just in case anyone was wondering. I've got it hidden under a half slab. So what I need to do now is I need to make sure that my villagers are going to be safe in there. So I'm going to build a kind of like walls or a fence and stick a roof on it, which I think I'm going to need, and uh, make a door so the villagers can come in and out. So I've been hard at work, and this is what I come up with. It's exactly how uh, I kind of wanted it. I mean, it looks alright, I think. The villagers can work outside, and then they can come in here when they want to go to sleep. See, I've got the beds in there. I've only got four beds just now because I don't really want any more babies at the moment. Um, but they can come in there and go to sleep. And I can sneak in at night. And basically, you know, if I want a baby, I can put some beds in them places. And when the babies come through and try and run into the beds, what happens is they'll fall down these holes because they'll just try and run straight across them because the trap doors are there. And they'll fall below out of the water. You know, looking at this now, I'm not sure I like it there either. <laughs> I think I prefer it over here. I think it would just look a lot cleaner. It would go with the building better. I mean, it looks like what I want. It just it's not in the right place. So is it by magic? No, it's in the right place, and it's looking good. Villagers like it. Get yeah, I me mean, just spinning about happily, doing his work. And I like it. It's much, much nicer. So inside, I've had to extend the cage, or the prison, <laughs> over a little bit so that the villagers can get in and out. I've got the four beds there, there for the adults. Hopefully they stick to their beds and don't try and claim the bed up in for the child. So this is the bed for the kid. What will happen is the kid will come through from the outside at night, go to go to bed and fall down the holes into the water again. Right, so I need to sit here and just, you know, see if this works. Do a little bit of peeping Tom action. Hopefully they won't see me, get me into trouble. But anyway, I'm going to maybe, maybe time lapse this or fast forward it.
O, O, O boys, we got action. See, O, oh, he's not happy, look, like he wants it on the action. He's like, no, what about me? Oh, I mean, you're supposed to be mine. I love you so much. They're like, no, no, get out of here. Is it going to work? Is it going to work? I think it's working. <laughs> then she turns around and looks at him like, what? Oh, 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 you're being rumbled, being caught, spotted us. <laughs> like, what are you looking at? <laughs> are they coming over to give me carrots? Do they want me to be a part of this? I don't, I don't know if I'm comfortable with that. I think I'm out of here. See you later. So we're inside now and we're seeing if he's going to jump down the hole. And oh, yep. Nice one. Woohoo! Straight down the hole. If we have a look down here. We should see that he's in there and he's been pushed up against the corner there by the water, waiting to be taken away on the minecarts. But we will wait until he is an adult before we do that. In the meantime, I'm going to have a wee fly around the build and make sure that I actually really do like how it looks with the garden outside and the positioning of it. And no, oh, I think I like it. I mean, it fits nice with the build. It's nice and clean on the side. It leaves room for me to build like a perimeter wall as well coming out like from it. And then I can maybe do something on top of here as well, but we'll see about that in the future. So I figured uh, I should probably show how this works. So we've got the villager in there and we place the minecart down here. And uh, what happens is, is the hitboxes overlap and it takes the villager over there and stops him here. And then we can give him his job by placing the thing here. <laughs> Uh, right, okay. <laughs> and then we can like, uh, we can find the, the trade that we want. Which is, believe me, not as easy as you would think. I guess we'll, we'll come back when we've got something that I want to keep. Right, okay, so we've managed to get mending. And that's obviously something that is pretty useful, so I want to keep that. But, I need, I need somebody to make the trade final. <laughs> I have to throw any diamonds on me, like an idiot. So, I mean, I don't really know what to do. I need to get diamonds. So maybe I should go see if I can get some diamonds. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, let's see if I've got any in this chest. Nope. You still got the trade. Man, this is stressful. Yeah, I think I need to go up and check my, my chest upstairs. Oh man, what the hell? Villagers. <laughs> This sucks. I'm going to need to do something about that. I'm thinking, I mean, I should be able to cure them sooner or later. Or do I lock this guy off? I'll get one. Only get one diamond. That's not good. There's a, there's a guy there as well. He's chasing the baby. I don't know what I'm gonna do, man. <laughs> so I've decided I'm gonna I'm gonna just kill the zombie. Then I'm gonna try and cure my villagers. <laughs> so this works. <laughs> hey. Okay, fuck. Oh, come on. Move out of the way, guys. I'm trying to save this. Help me help you. I'd like to like pull him over here. Yeah, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Yeah, you're going down. See you later. Yeah. Hopefully these guys will just like stay here. And I can 
cure them. But I think I need to go get some potions of weakness and some apples that I don't have, so I'll be back to fix this. <laughs> so I'm back. I've got myself some potions of weakness and an apples. And <laughs> my villagers of my villagers have despawned because I didn't name them. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Got none. I need to start over. Hopefully I've still got this guy. Down here. Yeah, he's there. I could use him. And I mean I've got some guys up the stairs and I could probably use one of them as well. Right, so god damn it. Right, let's get a sword. Well I've got two villagers back inside the breeding area, which is all I should need. I should be able to repopulate it and I should probably make sure I name them. And make sure I don't leave any blocks lying about outside the fence. Which I'm sure there isn't. <laughs> anymore. <laughs> nice, so I've got them named now. Uh, we called them Papa John and Mamma Mia. And what I'm going to do just now is check out here and make sure there's no dark areas where mobs can spawn. Oh, well, that's all we've got time for in this episode. Um, if we come back the next episode, have a look, I'll show you how this all works. It should all be working perfectly. Hopefully the place is going to look a little bit nicer by then as well. And uh, we'll see you later. Bye bye.